put in work and watch my status escalate. Now I'm gonna start collecting props. Who's Edward Bernay? Edward Bernay. I heard you mention that. Ah, uh, yeah. So Edward Bernay, he's known as the father of propaganda. So I've talked about this. I talked about it at Tate's place. I've talked about it uh, at a couple other uh, locations. I'm very passionate about understanding the root source of the cause, right? So you look at the at a lot of the habits that Americans form, you're gonna start asking yourself, who instilled these thoughts? Who instilled kind of the, this philosophy and these habits? A famous one is the American, the all-American breakfast. You get your eggs, you get yeah. your bacon, you get your sausages, you get your orange juice, you get your milk. But a hundred years ago, that wasn't breakfast. That wasn't the American breakfast. A breakfast wasn't a thing, right? So people nowadays, and I saw it on TikTok, like, well, what do you want me, Luke, to starve? No, I want you to be conscientious about who you're who believing your with regards to the information that you have. So Edward Benet, known as the father of propaganda, also related to uh, the owner of um, Netflix, which is very interesting, right? Because Netflix is a big propaganda machine. So you see a lot of these things kind of mm. interconnecting with the cells, which is one of the reasons why I don't watch movies, which is why you asked me, is I don't like people programming my mind. I like to program my mind by it's myself. Literally, it's literally called a TV program. Correct. Like literally you watch the news and it says, it's time for your what? Your regular programming. Like they literally <laughs> tell it to you. It's like, are you ready to get programmed? All right, sit down. Turn on the TV at nine o'clock with your GMO processed bullshit food that you just pulled out of the fridge and then you put it in the microwave. You're good to go. Sit down. Eat that genetically modified corn off of that plastic container. You're chilling. Sit down for your regular programming. That's the name of the game nowadays. Edward Bernay launched the breakfast campaign because the meat industry came to him and said, dude, we're slacking on meat sales. How, what can we do? So he's like, mm, it's too hard to convince the average person. It's too hard to convince the individual. I need to go to the people that are already sources of authority. So what did he go and do? He went and convinced who? The doctors, the pediatricians, that breakfast was the most essential diet with all these studies and all these, these case studies and all these scientific uh, papers that were written and all these experiments and all this bullshit. It was all paid propaganda. Very, sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Anyways, so Edward Bernay launches the breakfast propaganda campaign and turns breakfast into a rousing success. He did it as well with cigarettes. Essential. He did it as well, he did it as well with cigarettes. He was pushing cigarettes as a healthy alternative to reduce stress, to make mm. sure pregnant women had a good it pregnancy. Like that. You go to the you go to the pharmacy, you tell them they prescribe you cigarettes. <laughs> Dude, Edward Bernay. So the guy understood human psyche, understood crowd psychology, and understood that Herd the crowd mind Herd mentality. is not a rational mind. Therefore, you do not appeal to logic. You appeal to emotion, Emotions. you appeal to fear. And that's the name of the game. So you see the same agenda the same mindset and the same strategy played time and time and time again. And if you understand this, you can position yourself in such a way whereby when this happens again, like it did from 2020 to 2022 without going into details, it's going to happen again. People will be mass brainwashed. Pandemic. People will be mass, mass, like mass, mass together to form fear. The mass mentality and the mass mobs will form together and the cycle will start again. Damn. And your ability to capitalize on that by foreseeing where it's going to happen, and I can tell you where it's going to happen. And being ready. Where? I can literally tell you the niches where? where it's going to happen. Ready? Perfect. Climate change, another pandemic, and food supply chain. Those three things are gonna be the three biggest money-making opportunities whereby they're gonna instill fear, they're gonna instill uh, crowd mob mentality where there's no logic involved it's purely emotional and they're going to be in a situation where they're going to get really rich whether it's through carbon credits whether it's through making and managing uh, genetically modified foods controlling the supply chain and ultimately there will be in a situation or in a scenario where they'll make the plan work so prepare yourself position yourself and you can get rich i i was able to uncover it this last time and I think it's gonna happen again soon. So yeah. mark my words. I'm not popular when I say these things, but I'm usually right. And you soon will be when these statements come to fruition. They will, 100%. And, 